welcome to my YouTube channel. We are going to do a yoga for runners today. And it's called yoga for runners, but it can be yoga for anyone. So you don't need to be a runner to do this yoga practice. We're really going to be focusing on opening up through the hamstrings, the um, hip flexors, the hips. We're also going to be engaging the glutes and strengthening into the core. Um, and all of these things really complement running. So hopefully this short and sweet yoga practice will complement your running practice as well. And of course, every time we practice yoga, we have a strong focus on the breathing, the inhales through the nose, the exhales out through the nose. And this can also complement running because when you've got your breath in sync with your movement, you can really have a really great run so hopefully the use of the breath will help support your your running practice as well let's get started let's start at the front of the mat in a standing position so coming to a standing position we'll take the feet just wider than hips width distance apart and take your toes outwards heel slightly inwards and take your feet as wide as the mat and we'll start to send the hips down, allow the knees to bend, allow the knees to bend over toes. The hips sink down and just sway the hips a little bit from side to side. You might come onto the tops of the feet, maybe allowing the weight to shift towards the heels. And as you inhale, you move to one side, as you exhale, you move to the other. And then slowly, slowly, just settling into stillness, whichever variation of the squat pose you're in, if you're upright here, if you're all the way down onto the mat, I'm gonna face you. And take your toes outwards, heels inwards. Send the hips down, inhale, the heart reaches up to the sky. And the hands move through heart center. Allow the elbows to move into the knees and lift through the chest. Imagine there's a weight on the tailbone rooting you down towards the earth and then you're rising up through the crown of the head. You might sway a little bit from side to side here or you might stay completely stationary. This really starts to release the lower back and starts to get into the hips. Really great, great counter pose for all of the running that you may have just done. One last breath, full inhale. Full exhale. Slowly placing the hands down onto the floor and then just walk the feet in so they're hips width distance apart on your mat. Inhale, find length into the spine, hands onto the shins or onto the mat. Exhale, fold over the legs and you might interlace your fingers around opposite elbows and you're swaying the torso a little bit from side to side, so it's starting to get into the hamstrings. Bend the knees a lot if you need to. Maybe start to find even more length into the back of the legs with the breath. You might notice that if you are a regular runner that you have really tight hamstrings. Maybe. So just breathe into this stretch. One last breath. And slowly just releasing the hands down onto the floor, bending into the knees, we'll roll up slowly, vertebrae by vertebrae. And coming to standing, and taking your hands through heart center, and taking your toes to touch heels apart, bowing your chin towards your chest, take a big breath in, noticing your posture, the shoulders rolling away from the ears, the hips slightly tucked under, so you're engaging navel drawing towards spine, zipping up a jacket through the center line of the body. Just focus on your breathing. So the rhythm of the breath really complements the rhythm of each pose that we're going to be visiting on our mat, and that is exactly the same when you are running, the breath really complements you propelling yourself forwards. But just allow yourself to take a moment of calmness, recentering.
And when you look after your body and your mind, you can really achieve anything that you wish to achieve in life. And that might be if you are preparing for a marathon, if you've got a 10K run or a 5K run coming up, whatever it is, if you take this time out for you, you can come back to your running practice and you can achieve a lot more, achieve your goals. When you feel strong in the mind, strong in the body, strong with the breath. Slowly, slowly open through the eyes, allow the arms to rest alongside of the body. Inhale, reach both arms all the way up to the sky, gaze up, the palms come to touch. Exhale, folding forwards. Inhale, lengthen halfway, lift into the spine. Exhale, planting the hands down, step the right foot back, coming into a lunge. Make sure that left knee is over the ankle. Drop the back knee down, tuck the toes under. And inhale, start to lift upwards through the chest. The hands press against the thigh. Inhale, the heart lifts up. Exhale, planting the hands down, tuck the back toes under, lift the back knee off the mat. And we'll just step back into a high plank pose. Let's hold this high plank for three breaths. So feel free to drop the knees down onto the floor or keep pressing the floor away. Spreading wide through the shoulder blades, you've got the crown of the head is moving forward, the heels are moving back behind you and the hips aren't hiking high to the sky or they're not dropping down below the hips. You've got them lifted in line with the torso. One last inhale. Exhale, lower the knees to the ground. We'll lower the chest all the way down, shifting the weight forward over the wrist, bend into the elbows. The elbows hug in as you lower the chest down. Inhale, start to lift up for a cobra, maybe taking the hands off the mat and just hovering the fingertips off the floor. You've got length into the back of the neck as the shoulders drop away from the ears and towards the back of the mat. Exhale, planting the hands down, we'll push the floor away, send the hips towards the heels, tuck the toes under and the hips are going to lift up high to the sky, we'll come into our first downward facing dog. So you've got a leg's length distance between the hands and the feet in your downward facing dog. If you've got tight hamstrings or calf muscles, bend the knees a lot, especially if you've got tightness into the lower back. And you might pedal out through the feet, bending one leg, straightening out through the other, swaying the hips from side to side, shaking head yes, shaking the head no. The biceps are rolling inwards, the triceps are rolling outwards, and the inner forearms are moving towards each other. And we've got a spreading between the shoulder blades, the ribs hugging. One last breath. Look forward in between the hands. Right foot steps forward, coming into our lunge. Drop the back knee down, tuck the toes under, and inhale, start to lift up through the chest. Pressing the hands into the thigh, slight tuck of the tailbone, so you're engaging into your lower back, into your lower belly, and then start to lift up. Should feel a really nice stretch into the hip flexor. Exhale, planting the hands down, tuck the back toes under, lift the back knee. Step the left foot forward to meet the right foot at the front of the mat. Inhale, lengthen, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Inhale, reach both arms all the way up to the sky. And exhale, hands through heart centre. I'm going to add one thing on. Inhale, reach the arms up. Exhale, folding over the legs. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, plant in the hand. Step the right foot back, coming into our lunge. Drop the back knee down, tuck the toes under. Inhale, start to lift upwards through the chest, coming into this really nice, juicy hip stretch. Anjaniasana, maybe staying here or inhale. Arms reach all the way up towards the sky. Take a big breath in. Exhale, planting the hands down, framing the front foot. Start to send the hips back as you straighten out through the front leg, flexing into the toes, the left toes pointing towards the sky, the hands reach down onto the mat. You're welcome to take blocks and also bend into that knee. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, fold. So really starting to get into the hamstring. You might even sway toes a little bit from side to side. So you can start to internally and externally rotate into that front leg. One last breath, full inhale, full exhale. Bend into the front foot, tuck the back toes under, lift the back knee off the mat. Step the right foot forward to meet the left foot at the front of the mat. Inhale, lengthen, halfway lift. Exhale. 
exhale, fold forwards. Inhale, reach the arms all the way up to the sky. And exhale, hands back through heart center. Inhale, reach both arms all the way up to the sky. Exhale, folding over the legs. Inhale, lengthen halfway lift. Exhale, this time step the left foot back, coming into our lunge. Drop the back knee down, tuck the toes under. Inhale, start to peel the chest off and come into our Anjaniasana, high, low crescent lunge. Maybe staying here, or arms reach all the way up to the sky. Take a big inhale. Big exhale. Slowly planting the hands down onto the mat. Start to send the hips back as you straighten out through the front leg. Flexing into the right toes, slight bend in the knee if you need to. Inhale, lengthen into the spine. And exhale, fold, trying to keep the chest and the heart open as you fold. The tendency is to round into the upper back. But try and find more length. That will keep you even more length into the hamstring. And you might internally and externally rotate into that front foot. One last breath. We bend into the front knee, tuck the back toes under, lift the back knee off the mat, and step the left foot forward to meet at the front of the mat. Inhale, lengthen into the spine. Exhale, fold forwards. Inhale, reach both arms all the way up to the sky. And exhale, hands back through heart center. Inhale, reach the arms up. Exhale, folding forward, and then add on again. Inhale, lengthen, halfway lift. Exhale, planting the hands, right foot steps back into your lunge. Drop the back knee down, tuck the toes under. Inhale, lift the chest, high lunge. Inhale, reach the arms up. Take a big breath in. Big breath out. One last breath. Exhale, planting the hands down to the floor, straighten out through the front leg. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, fold. And maybe staying here with the arms extended out, or if you want a little more, you can walk the hands all the way over towards the left foot. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, fold. So the hands are all the way over towards the left side of the mat as you fold. This gives you a deeper stretch into the side body, deeper stretch into the hamstring. It also starts to get into the IT band, into the hip flexor. And then slowly, slowly walking the hands back to centre. We'll tuck, we'll bend into the front knee. Inhale, come back up into the slow lunge. This time we're going to take a twist. Take the right hand outside of the left knee and start to take that left arm back behind you. You might take hold of the right thigh. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, twist. You're also welcome to take the arms out to the side if that is a lot nicer for you on the shoulders. One last inhale. Exhale, slowly planting the hands down. We'll tuck the back toes under, lift the back knee off the mat, stepping back into your high plank pose. Exhale, lower the knees, lower the chest all the way down. Inhale, lift up for a cobra. Exhale, lower the chest all the way back down. Tuck the toes under, send the hips up to the sky, downward facing dog. Take a big breath in. Big breath out. Look forward in between the hands. Step the right foot forward, coming into our lunge. Drop the back knee down. Tuck the toes under. Inhale, start to lift through the chest. Maybe stay here or inhale, reach the arms up to the sky. Breathing. One last breath. Exhale, planting the hands down. We'll start to straighten out through the front leg. Maybe a slight bend if you need to. Flex into that right foot. Inhale, lengthen into the spine. Exhale, fold forwards. And feel free to stay here, but if you did it on the other side, walking the hands this time all the way over to the right side of the mat. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, fold. And just notice what happens to the shoulders when you're in this pose. Just allow the shoulders to move away from the ears and you to just sink and melt into the posture, feeling the stretch. And feeling the stretch into the hamstring or IT band. Slowly, slowly walking the hands back to centre, tuck, bend into the back, uh, bend to the front knee. 
Inhale, start to lift up through the chest, maybe staying here, or left hand outside of the right knee. Right arm moves back behind you. You might take hold of the thigh. Inhale, lift the chest. Exhale, find a twist. You're welcome again to split the arms out to the side if you did that on the other side. Slowly, slowly coming back to centre, planting the hands down, we'll tuck the back toes under, lift the back knee off the mat and step it forward. Inhale, lengthen through the spine, exhale, fold. Inhale, reach both arms all the way up to the sky and exhale, hands through heart. Inhale, reach both arms all the way up. Exhale, folding over the legs. Inhale, lengthen into the spine, halfway lift. Exhale, planting the hands, stepping the right foot back, coming into a lunge. Drop the back knee down, tuck the toes under. Inhale, lift the arms all the way up to the sky. Exhale, planting the hands down, straighten out through the front leg, flex into the front foot. Inhale, lengthen into the spine. Exhale, fold. Let's take two breaths. If you want to go for that variation that you did on the other side, taking the hands all the way over towards the left side of the mat, please do. One last breath. Slowly walking the hands all the way back, bending into that front knee. Tuck the back toes under, lift the back knee off the mat. Take the right hand down and inhale, lift the left arm all the way up, coming into a twist. You're welcome to keep the back knee down if you wish as well. Slowly, slowly gaze down towards the floor, just slightly further out in front of you. We're going to shift the weight into the front foot. Back leg gets lighter and lighter and lighter. We're coming into a warrior three. Place the right hand down directly underneath the right shoulder. You might place it onto a block. You might even place the left hand down and just extend through the right leg. Maybe staying heel, slight bend into the left knee. Place the left hand onto the hip, inhale, lengthen. Exhale, start to twist towards that left leg. We're coming into a twisting half move. Maybe the arm reaches up to the sky and maybe you straighten into that left leg. One last breath, focusing on your balance, your stability, finding your stability into your core. Slowly release that right foot, but place the right foot behind the left heel. So we're in um, kind of with the right, with the left ankle moving backwards, right ankle moving backwards, but we're in this variation of a hamstring stretch. Inhale, lengthen into the spine and exhale, fold. So here really allows you to engage and squeeze into the inner thighs, getting a little bit more into the glutes, and it gives you a different sensation on the, on the hamstrings. If you notice that your back leg is slightly hyperextended, just have a slight bend into the knee. Inhale, lengthen into the spine. Exhale, slowly releasing. Step the right foot next to the left. Inhale, rise all the way up to standing. Exhale, hands through heart centre, last side. Inhale, reach the arms all the way up to the sky. Exhale, folding over the legs. Inhale, lengthen, halfway lift. Exhale, planting the hands, this time left foot steps back, coming into a lunge. Drop the back knee down, tuck the toes under. Inhale, start to lift up. And Johnny Asana may be sweeping the arms. Take two breaths here. One last breath. Exhale, planting the hands down. We'll start to straighten out through the front leg. Inhale, lengthen into the spine. Exhale, fold. And just holding for a few breaths. Again, if you went for that variation on the other side, where you walked the hands. One last breath. Slowly walking the hands back to centre, we bend into the front knee. Tuck the back toes under, lift the back knee off the mat. Left hand stays down and inhale, right arm reaches up. Finding your twist, twisted crescent lunge. It should feel really nice on the upper back. Slowly gaze down towards the floor. We're coming for our balancing pose. It is a tricky one, so take it easy and feel free to modify if you need to. Bend into the front knee. Take the left hand forward so it's directly underneath the shoulder. 
Take the right hand down, inhale, lengthen. Maybe staying here, or right hand comes onto the lower back. Exhale, start to twist towards that right standing leg. Maybe staying here, or right arm reaches up to the sky. Maybe the gaze goes with it and breathe. And we'll hold for three. And two. And one. Exhale, cross that right ankle over the left. And maybe wiggle the toes out to the side. Inhale, lengthen into the spine. And exhale, fold. So we're in this, back to this, kind of twisting forward fold. Inner thigh squeeze together. Inner ankles move towards each other as the head drops down. Inhale, lengthen into the spine. Exhale, come to standing at the front of the mat. Inhale, lengthen. Arms reach up. And exhale, hands back through heart. Let's make it down onto the mat. Inhale, reach both arms all the way up to the sky. Exhale, folding over the legs. Inhale, lengthen, halfway lift. Exhale, planting the hands, stepping back, high plank. So both legs step back this time. Hold and breathe. One last breath. Exhale, knees drop down, or you can lower all the way down in one piece. Inhale, lift up, cobra, or maybe stretching out through the chest, coming into an upward facing dog. Maybe lifting up high into the tops of the feet, lifting all the knees, the thighs, and downward facing dog. Take a big breath in, big breath out. Look forward between the hands, or step, or hop the feet to a seated position. So looking forward, crossing the ankles, taking a seat. Let's get a little bit into the core. So hug the knees into the chest, and take the toes to touch. Start to rock up high onto the sit bones. Inhale, start to lift up through the legs, and the legs might lift just a few inches off the mat. The legs might lift 90 degrees off the mat. Maybe stay here, or arms extend out and breathe. If you've got the flexibility, you might straighten out through the legs. For three, breathe, and two, and one. Hug the knees into the chest, give yourself a squeeze. Let's just do one final round, a little bit of a variation. Slowly rocking up high onto the sit bones, maybe extending through the legs, maybe take the knees 90 degrees. And this time maybe staying here or toe tap. Keep the knees together, right and then left, and toe tap the right and left and right and left and right and left and five, four, three, two, one. Let's make it even, let's do an extra. Hug the knees into the chest. And from here, extend both legs out in front of you. Feet are hips width distance apart. And take the sole of the right foot and flex the right foot up towards the sky. Flex the left foot up towards the sky. Inhale, reach both arms all the way up. And exhale, let's go for a forward fold. Inhale, lift the chest. Exhale, fold. And again, feel free to bend the knees or any variations or anything that you feel like you need to do in this pose. You might sit on a block. Just stretching the lower back, the hamstrings. And breathe. And two more breaths. And one last breath. And slowly inhale. And coming up to seated, right foot comes either to the ankle, the calf, or the inner thigh. And the right knee moves out to the side. Inhale, reach both arms all the way up. And exhale, folding forward over the left leg. Coming into a Janusha Sasana. Really, really nice stretch for the hamstring, the outer hip. One last breath, full inhale. 
exhale. And slowly, slowly coming back up to seated. A few options here. You can flex into the right foot, take the right ankle on top of the left knee and just guide that right knee down towards the mat. You might even come into a forward fold. So we're in this kind of figure four stretch with the left leg extended. Another option is you might take the right knee over the left leg. And this is the half Gomukhasana pose. You might stay here or you might start to fold forward and this gives you a really nice stretch into the outer hip. And also a hamstring stretch. If you wanted to go into the full pose, bending into the left knee as well, sending the hips down, the heart up, and then walking the hands forward, you're absolutely welcome to. One last breath. And then slowly, slowly coming back up to seated. Extending the right leg out. We'll take the sole of the left foot, ankle, calf, or inner thigh. We'll start with our Janusha Sasana, keep flexing into the right foot. So you can engage into this quadricep muscle. Inhale, arms reach up. Slight twist towards that right leg and exhale, fold forward. And the hands might stay either side of the legs. So you might take hold of the ankle or the foot. Inhale, lengthen, exhale, fold. And just breathe into the stretch, breathing into the lower back, the hamstrings. Noticing the tightness and start to release this tightness on the exhales. One last breath. Exhale, slowly coming up to seated. So whichever option that you did on the other side, you might flex it into the left foot, placed it on top of the right knee, or on the, just above the right knee. And maybe you stayed here and you stayed upright, just pressing the hand into the thigh. And maybe you started to forward fold. You might have gone for that half gumbo cast and taking the left knee on top of the right. Maybe staying here or exhale, start to fold forward. If you went for the full posture, bending that right knee as well, sending the hips down, the heart up, and please do. And breathe. Let's take two more breaths in this pose. And slowly, slowly, just come back to seated. Extend both legs out in front of you, place the soles of the feet down to the floor, arms extend fully. We'll roll all the way down onto our backs. Really, really engage into your core here as you lower. For five, and four, and three, three, <laughs> and two. And one, hug the knees into the chest. Give yourself a squeeze, a little rock from side to side. And take one last breath. I'm here placing both of the soles of the feet down to the floor. Place the hands either side of the hip. Inhale, start to lift up through the lower back, the middle back, the upper back. We're going to move into a bridge pose. So lifting the hips, so really engaging into the glutes, the thighs here, squeezing the inner thighs together. And we'll just take a few breaths. If you want a deeper variation, you're welcome to interlace the fingers back behind you, lifting upwards through the chest. And this is a really nice heart opening pose. As you inhale, you're breathing into the heart space. As you exhale, engaging into the core. And two more breaths. One last breath. Exhale, slowly, slowly lowering down, upper back, middle back and the lower back. Just windshield wiper the knees, 
from side to side. Hug both knees into the chest. I'm going to take a gentle supine twist just to finish off. So drop the knees all the way over towards the left side of the mat and start to extend the right arm out. Gentle supine twist. And the gaze just goes over towards the right hand as you drop the right shoulder down. And now we can start to breathe into the lower belly. Inhale, expanding. Exhale, releasing. You might even close off the eye, noticing the breath. And hug both knees into the chest. We'll go for the opposite side. Knees drop over towards the right side, extending the left arm out. Gentle supine twist. And just releasing and melting the whole body into the mat now. Take one last breath. And exhale, draw both knees into the chest. Give yourself a final squeeze. Maybe lift the head off the mat, knees towards the nose. And extending the right leg, extending left leg. And turning both palms up towards the sky, we'll enter our final resting pose, Shavasana. Allow the arms to rest either side, keeping the energy low. Take a big inhale. And a big exhale out, maybe side it out from the mouth. And two more just like that. Big inhale through the nose. Exhale out through the mouth. One last big breath in. Hold and exhale out. allowing the breath to return back to its natural original state of breath. And just the inhales and the exhales. Just releasing the whole body into the mat. Just give yourself some gratitude for all of your efforts for going out there if you're a runner, for stepping onto your yoga mat, for nourishing your mind, your body, focusing on your breath. And hopefully this practice that you've done on the yoga mat will really complement your running. And it's something that you can come back to over and over again to find balance in your life. Balance between strength, endurance, but also stretching and relaxing. Allowing the breath to really guide you through. And just whatever you're doing, allow yourself to stay fully in the present moment. And when we stay in the present moment, we can really embody whatever it is that we are doing in our life. And we can notice it. And when we take time to reflect, we can really reflect on the things that really serve us in our life, the things that 
we really want to nourish a little bit further. And the things that do not serve us, we can just let them go. And slowly start to wiggle through the fingers, the toes. Inhale, find a full body stretch. Exhale, draw both knees into the chest. And rocking all the way over to your right side. We'll just come up to a comfortable seated position, keeping your eyes closed if you can. And taking your hands through heart centre, bowing your chin towards your chest, giving yourself some gratitude with the time that you've spent on your yoga mats today, sharing your energy, your presence. And I bow deeply to you and thank you for practising with me today. Namaste. Thank you all for practicing with me today. Hopefully this class will really complement your running practice if you're a runner. But if you are not a runner and you still did this flow, I really hope that you got a really nice stretch into the lower body and created a little bit more space. Thank you very much.